Hello everyone, welcome to IELTS Juice. Let's start assessing this letter today. So the question says, a friend of yours is thinking about applying for the same course that you did at university. He or she has asked for your advice about studying this subject. So it's your turn to give information to your friend. Write a letter to your friend in your letter Give details of the course you took at the university. Explain why you recommend the university and give some advice about how to apply. The first thing that comes to our mind should be that this is an informal letter. So when I say informal, it doesn't mean bad words or minced words or abbreviations or too much use of uh, like not very polite language. Not at all. When we say informal, you can look up words, any word in, in English, uh, in a reputable dictionary, and you will see that it is labeled as either formal or informal. Uh, for instance, you cannot, at your workplace, you cannot just stand up and say, hey pal, how are you doing? To your boss. Your boss, your immediate manager, is not a pal. You cannot talk to them like this. That context requires a formal language. Whereas with your friend, you cannot suddenly say, greetings, Jack. Uh, that, that is totally weird when you use greetings, which is a formal word with a, a person uh, who is very close to you. Now, how are you, Jack? How are you doing? That would be an informal method to talk to your friend, and that would be natural. Anyway, that is the definition of informal, and this is an informal letter. So we need to be a little bit careful about the language we're going to use. Let's begin. It says, Dear Alex, first name basis, of course, this is your friend, so you need to address them with their first name. If you were my best friend, I wouldn't go ahead and call you Dear Mr. Dear Ms. That would be irrelevant, right? So, I am writing to, I'm writing to you regarding the IT course. Now, regarding is a little bit formal, but still, regarding the IT course, which I have completed at India University, uh, both you and your friend both know that when you finish your course, and it's already finished, so it's it has everything in the past. Connecting it to the present by using present simple, present perfect tense is a little bit weird. I, I, I see this is, this is not necessary to just say have completed. Simply you could say I completed. And don't worry about the lowercase i. Capitalization has no score, no extra or fewer scores at IELTS, so don't worry about it. And is appealing to you. Yeah, this is the course that is appealing to you. It is the IT course. Let's go ahead. Again, regarding the course, uh, I would use uh, as for the course itself, I would use as for instead of regarding. It's, it sounds a little bit formal. Uh, the course itself, it was, you see, this, this is correct now. We're talking past simple tense. It was an intensive period, so I'm, I'm done with it. It was in the past. It's okay, finished. It was an intensive period which had been introduced by IT's Department of University. That's a little awkward. Uh, by the way, this is uh, this is good. 
because uh, yeah, you were introduced to the course before that, so this is past perfect. It's fine. Uh, but this part this is rather awkward uh, by the university's IT department. That that sounds more natural. It is uh, very well known for having. Oh, it refers to the university. It is very well known for having professional. Uh, professional double I mean spelling uh, mentors and equipped uh, spelling uh, laboratories good this is good uh, you could go ahead you could go ahead and write labs but this shows that the writer actually knows uh, the spelling of laboratory and uh, he or she knows how to pluralize it. Instead of Y, you have IES. This shows knowledge over vocabulary. Uh, but the knowledge uh, doesn't cover all words so far in two cases here. Apart from it, I don't need this. That course included two hours of theoretical lessons in the morning and three hours of practical sessions in the evening. Those, I guess the word here was compact. Uh, this is a minor error. Uh, it, it, it doesn't affect my understanding, but let's see, those compact timetables began oh those tight schedules i see that would be a correct collocation began at 9 to 12 a.m uh, and from 4 p.m to 8 p.m from january 1st uh, i i would I would have preferred uh, the, uh, I mean, one in O N E format, January to January thirtieth. Okay. Uh, one thing, I really like the details here. You see, I know the course, how this individual was introduced to the course, and then what the course included when it started and when it finished and who the mentors were were we we don't know who we, we don't have any names but we know their characteristics that's beautiful so the mentors were professional we know that the laboratories were equipped we know that so i i love the details here the reason why i suggest india university i don't need a comma here is related to Having knowledgeable and patient mentors, uh, again, another spelling error. Uh, I don't need this I here. Um, mentors, they could explain sophisticated issues which are hard to understand because they have a good mastery over uh, computer skills. Uh, we don't need the here. Uh, such as programming. I love this. Um, the writer definitely has some skill in uh, understanding uh, how to uh, write words correctly. So there is some spelling knowledge, but the spelling knowledge is not 100%. It's in a gray area. So it's like the writer knows how to write certain words, which gives him or her a little bit confidence but it's not enough to cover all the words that he or she possesses in uh, his uh, or her vocabulary that is a little bit that's kind of like false confidence 
And that's a trip we need to be, uh, that's a trick actually, sorry. That's a trick we need to be uh, careful about. In addition, if you have misunderstanding about a subject, uh, the, 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 the word that comes starts with a consonant, so we don't need uh, a consonant here. A would be enough. They would repeat it patiently, again, uh, spelling of patiently, again and again in order to fix that issue in your mind. Oh, fix the issue in your mind. That's beautiful. So, again, I like the details. And there is explanation on why this particular university is recommended here. So, so far, I really like uh, things that I saw with the errors that we discussed together. For applying to this course, you should download the essential forms from the university's website because now we know which university we have to refer to it the university's website and complete them carefully along with paying a hundred dollars the word dollar is countable for registration which would be done via an online payment system uh, would be would sound more natural Moreover, uh, you would have to utilize a powerful laptop like Asus X66 that has a good speed for processing the program. I like that. This is, this is genius. Uh, these two words by themselves do not give you extra marks, but it gives me this beautiful feeling that the writer is uh, creative and uh, I, I like I like that I really like it uh, I see the details I see the depth of the information and the writer is not scared to get deeper so this is this is lovely um, I this is also one of the reasons that the brainstorming phase of this letter, which is done before you actually write, was done very well. Um, I, I really like this trick. Again, I told you, doesn't add any extra scores, but I like uh, attention to detail here. Although it is not a must, this is an in this is an informal structure. This is suitably used here. It's not a must. It's my personal recommendation, not a comment. It's, it's my personal recommendation to alleviate your education. What does it mean? Maybe uh, to help you uh, boost your education or to help you process the admission phase faster maybe those are the words that were intended to be here but they're not i will be glad to hear from you in this regard again a little bit to, we have too many regards like there's regards with regard regarding regard uh Again, that's a very, not very, no, but that's a formal word. 263 words for a letter, that's a little high. But I like the explanation. I like the details. Good for me as a reader. Uh, let's move on to the assessment table. So, uh, of course, we're talking about the general training uh, module of IELTS because it's a letter. And the task achievement, as you can see, the details are fully and clearly extended, yes. Uh, basically, it covers all the requirements of the task sufficiently. Uh, the only parts remaining, uh, like preventing it to get a 9, are the ones that you may are associated with some grammar errors or vocabulary errors that may confuse the reader. Uh, that's why uh, it may not get the full uh, nine out of nine in task achievement. 
uh, coherence and cohesion was well done. Uh, there were pretty much no referencing issues and uh, the organization of the letter, like the, the bullet points from the first one to the third one, were 100% reflected on the letter. So the first, you had three body paragraphs uh, to cover all the three bullet points. And vocabulary was the one that had, yeah. Uh, I, I, I could see the range, guys, the range, yes, it was there. The letter was so eager to give me words. I, I, and I, I really liked it. It was bold and audacious, but it wasn't 100%. So in some cases, there were this false confidence that you can write something you want and get away with it, but sadly, the errors come in. And in uh, one instance in particular, the error affected my understanding. That's why it gets five. And as for grammar, again, everything the same. There, there's good range. It's varied. There are the majority of sentences are produced without any errors. Uh, but there are one or two instances that, uh, for instance, the part that uh, the present perfect was used unnecessarily. Oh, a past simple tense would be enough. So that may make it six. Now, one thing to note, guys, when you write a letter, exactly like, like a letter, you post it. So once somebody opens it and starts reading your letter, you're not there to explain what you meant. Everything has to be clear. So your letter must be a through representative sent from you or trained by you. That's why I always say, be careful when you write your letters, your essays, and your reports. They are going to be your representatives, so make sure they do their jobs well. Have a lovely day ahead.